In this video, we will be exploring NASA's Artemis program and the agency's ambitious goal of landing the first woman and next man on the lunar surface by 2024. This would mark the first crewed moon landing since Apollo 17 in 1972. NASA aims to establish regular access to the moon this decade as a stepping stone for eventual human exploration of Mars. We will discuss the key components of the program, planned missions, new rockets and spacecraft, challenges to achieving the timeline, and the importance of returning to the moon. There is much work left to do for NASA to succeed in getting boots back on the ground by 2024, but Artemis represents an exciting new chapter in space exploration. Let's dive in. Overview of the Artemis program goals and timeline. Named after Apollo's twin sister in Greek mythology, the Artemis program was launched in 2017 under the Trump administration's space directive. The goals include Landing the first woman and next man on the moon by 2024. Conducting regular sustainable lunar surface missions by the end of the decade. Using the moon to test technologies for Mars exploration. Performing science and research. Developing economic opportunities in space. The program timeline includes uncrewed and crewed test flights from 2021-2024, leading to a moon landing in 2024. Sustainable exploration would begin soon after. While the 2024 landing goal is ambitious, Artemis aims to build lasting infrastructure for access to the Moon. Artemis 1, the uncrewed test flight around the Moon. The first mission, Artemis 1, will be an uncrewed test flight of NASA's new space launch system, SLS, rocket and Orion spacecraft. SLS will be the most powerful rocket since Apollo's Saturn V. Orion will fly in a distant retrograde orbit around the Moon for three six weeks, testing its systems further than any previous human spacecraft. This mission was originally planned for 2021 but is now targeting a launch no earlier than October 2023 after delays. Artemis 1 represents the first integrated test of SLS and Orion and sets the stage for future crewed deep space missions. Artemis 2, first crewed Orion test flight. Artemis 2 will be the first crewed flight of the Orion spacecraft, circling around the back of the Moon in 2024. A crew of four astronauts will spend about 10 days testing Orion in a distant lunar orbit, reaching about 40,000 miles past the far side. This mission will lay important groundwork for operations and rendezvous procedures needed for subsequent lunar landing missions. It provides key data and experience prior to committing astronauts to land on Artemis 3. Artemis 3, the next giant leap for humans. Artemis 3 targets a crewed lunar landing by 2024, the program's boldest near-term objective. Using SLS, Orion, and a human landing system, it will send two astronauts to the lunar surface for six seven days. This includes the first woman to ever walk on the moon. The crew will land on the South Pole, where they will conduct experiments, test equipment, and collect samples to advance scientific understanding for future exploration. This mission represents just the first phase of a sustained human return to the Moon. Lunar Gateway, Orbital Outpost Around the Moon A core piece of architecture for long-term exploration is the Lunar Gateway, a modular space station to be assembled in orbit around the Moon. Gateway will provide vital support for sustained surface access and exploration. The initial gateway will consist of just a power propulsion module and small habitation quarters. It will support astronauts for 30-60 days, with more habitation capabilities added over time. Gateway will also serve as a staging point for missions to the lunar surface and Mars. First elements are slated to launch in late 2024 at the earliest, after the Artemis 3 moon landing. NASA has partnered with other space agencies to contribute gateway modules and components. Human Landing Systems To transfer astronauts between the gateway and lunar surface, NASA is procuring human landing systems from the commercial sector. SpaceX was awarded the initial contract to develop the variant of its Starship rocket to land Artemis III astronauts on the Moon in 2024. The Starship HLS leverages innovations like full reusability to deliver a spacious cabin and up to 100 tons of cargo to the surface. But it still has major technical milestones to reach for reliable operation. NASA is holding a competition for a second lander as a backup option. Having safe, sustainable, affordable landing systems will be key to advancing lunar exploration throughout the next decade. International Partnerships 
NASA has emphasized building international collaborations to support Artemis and expand global lunar exploration. Partners so far include Europe, major Orion service module contributor, future gateway elements, Canada, gateway robotics, rovers, Japan, logistics spacecraft, additional moon missions, Australia, communication systems, UAE, rover testing and moon data, Italy, habitation module designs, India, potential human and robotic contributions. These partnerships bring vital resources, technology, and expertise to enable a robust Artemis program. Having major space powers invested together provides stability and geopolitical benefits on Earth as well. Technology and Science Goals Renewed lunar exploration allows NASA to conduct important technology demonstrations and scientific research, including developing lunar surface power, propulsion, and other exploration systems, leveraging lunar resources for life support, fuel production, and construction, studying the lunar environment and space radiation effects, performing lunar geology, regolith, and seismic experiments, testing lunar greenhouses and plant growth, Conducting lunar astronomy observations from the far side. Assessing technology for in-situ resource utilization. Advancing human health research and biotechnology. These activities and technologies will prepare for sustained missions to Mars and beyond, while advancing wider scientific knowledge. Challenges to achieving 2024 moon landing. While the Artemis program represents bold space exploration goals, significant challenges exist for NASA to achieve a crewed lunar landing by 2024. Technical. Very tight development schedules for human landing systems. Continued delays in SLS and Orion readiness. Complex integration of many systems. Budget and political. Securing sufficient funding year after year in Congress. Potential program cuts or restructuring with changes in leadership. Management. Overall program organization and contractor oversight. Maintaining focus on the 2024 goal versus longer-term objectives. Supply chain delays and cost overruns. Though the hurdles are real, NASA argues that maintaining urgency and pressure drives innovation and progress. But many expect delays from the aggressive 2024 target. Alternatives from China, commercial sector. In pursuing its moon plans, NASA must contend with increasing competition from China and the commercial space sector. China is advancing steadily in robotic lunar exploration as a prelude to crude landings in the 2030s. While on a longer timeline, China's space program operates efficiently, posing geopolitical and technical threats to U.S. leadership in space. At the same time, Companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin are now rivaling NASA's rocket and spacecraft capabilities, while developing lunar landers with private funding. Their progress and pricing could disrupt traditional government-led approaches to human space exploration. As it returns to the moon, NASA must adapt to this changing 21st-century context of space activity. Long-term vision for lunar exploration While NASA's eyes are set on the 2024 Artemis III milestone, the agency has broader plans for lunar exploration this decade. Establishing a sustainable presence on the Moon is viewed as the next major leap, not just one-off missions. The capabilities driven by the 2024 goal are intended to make regular lunar access routine. Following Artemis III, NASA plans annual crewed flights and robotic missions. The Gateway will start enabling extended lunar orbital stays and reusable landing systems. More advanced lunar science and resource utilization will come online. This architecture is envisioned to support eventual human missions to Mars in the 2030s. The Moon provides an ideal proving ground to test Mars systems and reduce risks before embarking on the even greater challenges of interplanetary travel. Importance of returning to the Moon. So why go back to Moon now, 50 years after Apollo? Along with preparing for Mars, NASA highlights several key rationales. Conducting impactful science and research in the lunar environment. Developing lunar resources that could support future space activities. Testing deep space operations and habitation over long durations. Inspiring public interest and in new talent with a bold exploratory program. Strengthening American leadership in space against global competitors. After Apollo, many asked, been there, done that, regarding the moon. 
but Artemis takes a longer view towards making the moon a gateway for the expanse of space. Much remains to still discover and develop on and around the lunar surface. That concludes our overview of NASA's Artemis program and the monumental work taking place to land astronauts back on the moon. The 2024 goal is ambitious, but even if delayed, Artemis moves us into an exciting new era of human deep space exploration. What do you think are the most important reasons for returning to the moon? And what other challenges lie ahead for NASA? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. To stay updated on the Artemis missions, launches, and progress, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.